This news update is brought to you by Grab somebody and tell them hello This is the Barbados Today Evening News Update for Friday, October 16. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. The country representative of the Organization of American States in Barbados, Francis McBarnett, says he is satisfied with the progress of the drug treatment court so far. McBarnett was speaking to Barbados Today after the review session for participants in the program. On Wednesday, it was revealed that only one participant tested positive for the presence of drugs since the group's last random testing. Staying in the courts, Attorney General Adriel Brathwaite is advising young lawyers not to get into the profession purely for financial gain. Brathwaite was speaking following the admission of new attorneys to the bar this morning. I know most of us come to the practice of law in the hope that we can be successful, and successful is really um, in terms of economic success. Um, but that, in fact, that they should not limit or measure the success simply by, by how much money one has made. Um, because that may very well determine the nature of the cases that, that you accept, for example. Um, there should be as much satisfaction in helping um, an old lady for free um, as there is satisfaction in doing a multi-million dollar case. And that's the point I want to make in terms of, 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 the, of the practice of law, in particular at a time when we all know that the reputation of, of, of lawyers in the community is not at, at its highest. Criminologist and advisor on social remedial policies, Yoland Ford, says the recent cases of fighting among schoolgirls is aimed at showing their power in an environment where violence is used to resolve conflict. Ford was speaking to Barbados today following a meeting of the St. Michael School alumni at the National Union of Public Workers headquarters. And they were discussing crime and violence and its effect on today's youth. She said the learned violent behavior from the home community might be encouraged by low self-esteem among the teenagers. This is not traditional with girls. What you would find is that persons who are achieving in, in other areas and so on and so forth have a greater sense of, of self-esteem and self-respect. But if you are dealing basically with um, young, young women or, or girls who basically now see that use of violence is a way to show that you cannot diss me and get away with it this is a this is a show of power this is this is the uh, and uh, they, they are they, they are they are learning that an aggressive response is okay and basically this is why some of our young women might be actually choosing this method this is a, has been something that might have been more typical among at-risk males, at-risk young males, but now we're seeing uh, uh, some, uh, it might not be a trend, but some girls who are engaging in this type of behavior. And I think it's related primarily to those two factors. The fact that um, those or that they might be modeling their behavior after have displayed this type of similar aggressive response. And similarly, it is now a way of showing that I have power. I can intimidate you by pushing a gun in your face. A 33-year-old man, Winston Reese of Black Ivy St. Michael, has been charged with a number of drug offenses committed this month. Police say he was charged with possession of cocaine, possession with intent to supply, trafficking of cocaine, and importation of the drug. The drugs were discovered in a package of juice by a local courier company at Sewell. The package was examined and seized by customs officials. The illegal drugs weighed three and a half kilos. A St. James mother, Tracy Lawrence, says she's desperate to find her missing daughter, Emilia John, and is pleading for the public's help in finding her. The 18-year-old of Clark's Gap, Derek's St. James, has been missing for over a week. 
She was last seen leaving the home of a family friend with whom she lives in Chapel Gap, Paines Bay, just a short distance away from her mother's home. The mother of five tells Barbados today she intends to search St. Lawrence Gap, an area that her daughter is known to frequent. There's regional and international news after this short break. From the region, an opposition MP in Jamaica wants the government to hold a referendum on the Caribbean Court of Justice as the island's final appellate body. Parliament is today debating legislation that will allow the country to replace the London-based Privy Council with the CCJ. The government has tabled three pieces of legislation in the House and needs a two-thirds majority to allow Kingston to become the latest CARICOM member to join the Trinidad-based Caribbean Court of Justice. But opposition Senator Alexander Williams says he wants Jamaicans to have a say in the matter. On the international scene, the European Union is offering to make it easier for Turkish nationals to come to the EU if Ankara attempts to slow the numbers of migrants and refugees crossing its borders with Europe. More than 600,000 people have reached the EU by sea so far this year, and many of them have been traveling through Turkey. We get more in this BBC report. Europe has no idea how to put an end to Syria's war, but it is now offering Turkey a deal. Stop the refugees from coming, and Europe will offer billions of euros in aid and an easing of visa restrictions for Turks travelling to Europe. Many in the EU have been critical of Turkey's president and what they see as his authoritarian bent. But they need him now and he's driving a hard bargain. They say it can't happen without Turkey, so why don't they take Turkey into the EU? In the meantime, a country says they will take 30 to 40,000 migrants and they're nominated for the Nobel Prize. We are sheltering around two and a half million refugees, but nobody cares. The prospect that more of those millions might head for Europe is what the continent's leaders fear. Hungary's response is barbed wire and border guards. It will shut this gap tonight. That's the news. There's more on our website, www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also tune in to Channel 101 on Flow TV or Mix 96.9 FM for more news and sports. I am Mary Claire Williams. Good evening.